hi everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to be working in the flower bed that's right behind me now i first shared this flower bed about two months ago when i did the first major cleanup of the growing season and i really haven't been back in this garden bed since then i did come in and try to prune some hydrangeas and i was only able to prune one of the three types that i had so in today's video we are going to do another major cleanup i did go through and weeded the whole area yesterday so we're not going to do that in this video but we are going to prune the remaining hydrangeas that i have those two right behind me we're also going to trim down that hedge um and deadhead any of the daffodil and tulip bulbs back there that's my daughter <laughs> um so yeah if you want to come along and see what it takes to get this garden bed back into shape then stick around so the first thing we're going to do is prune my hydrangeas and I have two types that we're going to prune today. This first one is Little Lime Prime and this one gets about three to four feet tall, which is perfect because I have a really low window right behind it. So I didn't want it to get taller than that, but it's taken a while to really put some nice green buds out and it finally did. We're what, at the mid at the middle of April. So this one's taking a little longer than usual, but I'm gonna come in and just deadhead all the spent blooms to the first green buds. I did do a detailed how to prune your hydrangeas video on different types of hydrangeas. So I will link that if you want a more detailed explanation, but all I do is I prune it down to the first green bud and remove any thin branches and really that's about it. And the second type of hydrangea we're gonna prune is the firelight hydrangea. And this one is definitely more further along, but I just wanted to wait and do them all at the same time. And the second type of hydrangea that we're gonna prune is the firelight hydrangea. And this one is definitely more further along, as you can see by all the nice big green growth. I just decided to wait so that I could do them both together. hydrangeas are prunes we have the limelight again and then we have the firelight next on the to-do list is this hydrangea and i don't remember the variety but this one doesn't do well in this area the leaves always tend to burn i think it gets way too much sunlight so i am going to transplant it into another part of the garden that gets a little bit more shade so we are going to dig this out And then right next to that hydrangea, we have this beautiful shrub and I can't remember the name of this. This one I always forget, but as you can see, it's blooming out very nicely. It puts out these really beautiful white flowers. This shrub, which I believe is a series of four plants, this is the third location that it's been. It's been relocated twice and it's really thriving in this area. As you can see, this area may look a little bit thinner and, that, and that's because there used to be a giant ball spot. So that is filling out nicely. So every year I come in and trim this up just to get it to kind of bush out more and it's doing that very beautifully. I'm a little, <laughs> sorry, that is my daughter. I'm a little behind on trimming these. I usually do it before it starts starts to flower. I just have a lot going on in other parts of the garden so this kind of fell to the wayside. So today I'm just going to skim it off just a little bit like so like right about there. This bush is the smallest one. It was the one that suffered the most. So I just want to take the very top off of that and then I'm just going to come into the front and just kind of skim down the sides as well.
So I've been having issues with my camera, so I'm not exactly sure when it stopped recording. So I'm on a different camera and hopefully the audio is okay. But this is what the hedge looks like now that it's all nice and trim. And it's even for the most part, by no means perfect, but I'm very happy and there's still some blooms left. But if we come on over, <laughs> this way i have these three unanimous shrubs and i don't remember the exact variety and they've been doing well for the most part but for some reason this one right here has been growing very oddly it's kind of missing one half of it i'm going to trim all of these back and get them a little bit more uniform and hopefully that will fix it So I am all done cleaning in the garden and I watered everything down. I do have to admit that my energy kind of got a little low towards the end there. So the cleanup could have definitely been better. So I'll probably be back in the next day or so and finish tidying up a little bit more. But I wanted to do a little tour and show you what's growing right now. So right here in this corner, we have lots of volunteer alyssum. And so it has like a nice little spread and I really like that. So I'll just let that be. We have some lilies right here. That should be a collection of yellow lilies. And then we have four day lilies putting out some nice green growth. In this area, I had a bunch of tulips and they've all bloomed. And fortunately for me, a bunny came and deadhead them all. So they should come back next year. And then I do have some alyssum in the area. There's one right there. And then I did plant, I think like five of them. So there's two more right there. So all together, only three have came back. And then I had three of these plants. I can't remember what they're called. It's called the winter rose or Lenten rose. One, two, and then a third one right here, which was coming up beautifully. Then all of a sudden it died down. I don't know what happened. Maybe my dogs peed on it or something, but I just cut that all the way down. And then we have the little lime hydrangeas back there, more tulip. And then we have three cat's pajama Nepeta. And then around the septic cover, I, ha I did have five of these, but we lost two for some reason this year. More tulips and then three more of those winter rose or Lenten rose. What are the name of these? I can't remember. These ones are like a light purple more green color. Then we have the shrub that we just trimmed back. And then we have the firelight hydrangea. And in between those, I did plant some tulips thinking that these will come up first, but they're coming up at the same time. So what I'm gonna end up doing is digging these out and transferring them to a different area. Then we have a red Japanese maple. And this one used to be over in this area, but I decided to move it to this area because when I bought this originally, I actually broke a branch off the backside or what I made the backside. So it was pretty flat on that side. So it works really well up against the wall. And this is where my energy got really low and the cleanup kind of fell off. The Monterey Cypress, those two are doing pretty bad. I lost one, I pulled it out. I'm gonna see if it'll bounce back, but I plan on buying two more to replace those. And then we have the Twisted Baby Locust. So it's putting out some nice green growth. And then we had like a little bit of a cold snap so all the branches, I mean, all the leaves have kind of died back. And then I have these two columbines. There were four. There was two additional ones in the back. I don't know if that is a volunteer or if that is the other plant trying to come back. I'm not sure. I believe it's a volunteer down there. So those are looking really good. This is the biggest I've seen and these are three years old. And then kind of throughout, I have some purple salvia kind of like in a zigzag pattern. You can see some of them are really small and some of them are really big. That one's super tiny right there. And then we have these boxwoods. I think these are called little gem or green gem. These little leaves popping up. I believe those are gladiolas. We have more lilies around the edge and down that side as well. Yeah, and then you can see 
more of the gladiola just kind of planted throughout the whole area and then coming back up this way yeah more daffodils and i believe that is more gladiolas and then i also went through and deadheaded all the daffodils this is a nice hyssop there should be five here unfortunately it looks like only one came back and the other two are trying and then we lost the two more then we have some day lilies and it looks like that one got trampled on properly by my dog. We have the Unanimous. More daffodils and gladiolas coming up. And then we have these five plants. Purple something hooker. I can't remember the name. I'm really bad with names. And then more daffodils and lilies. One two, three. I can't remember what I planted. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely more cleanup to do in this area just to tidy up a little bit more. Give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye.